Hello! So over the last few videos I posted, uh, three were pre-recorded, one was that song, and the stick figures, and one week I missed. So that makes like five or six weeks that I haven't made a real video, <laughs> um, like a normal video like I usually do, so this is weird. It's been like more than a month. <laughs> So now that it's second semester, I am taking a mythology class, and um, on Friday we had a Socratic seminar, which if you don't know what that is, it's like a discussion. The teacher like doesn't really get involved in all the students, just talk about a topic. <laughs> and so our topic to discuss was... Um, it was this article about Cinderella and feminism. So the article talked about one of the original versions of Cinderella, which was like really grotesque. Like the stepmom makes the stepsisters like cut off parts of their feet to try and fit in the shoe. And uh, one of the points that the article made was that historically women have mutilated themselves to be pleasing to men like um, those those, like, that go on your waist, I don't remember what they're called, but they, like, squeeze your guts, and it's, like, bad for you. Like that. <laughs> so we were discussing that article, and it was, <laughs> like, it was really funny. Um, holy crap. Um, let me, uh, tell you some of the things that went down. Um, somebody brought up the... I think it's called the Lamely doll, um, which is like Barbie, but uh, more realistic proportions, because like real people aren't like like this. So Lamely is more more like she's she's got a a lower ratio of height to width. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, she's more realistic, and like she has flat feet for flat shoes instead of like made for heels. <laughs> so somebody was describing this in class and just bringing it up to talk about and somebody was like, oh, so is that like a poor person Barbie? <laughs> and they were totally serious. And so, um, you know, from there, the conversation moved on to, uh, I think, narcissism in, like, culture and celebrities. So the teacher was trying to say, Michael Jordan. She was going to bring that up, but she said, instead, she said, oh, I was going to tell you something, but I can't tell you this joke and preserve the anonymity of those involved. But trust me, it's really funny, so. Oh, another thing that happened. It wasn't in this Socratic seminar. It was in a different one a, w a couple of weeks ago, talking about uh, the difference between mythology and religion. And um, I don't know if you guys have seen on Facebook um, the story that gets passed around every so often, where um, there's this the stereotypical militant atheist professor is talking to his class and he you know he's just talking and he says you can't prove that god exists and um a, a boy stands up a courageous christian young man stands up and says uh professor oh i've screwed up this story the professor says um since you can't see god you can't prove that he exists which is the classic rounded, well-represented atheist argument. So a courageous Christian young man stands up and says, Professor, can we see your brain? And the professor says, well, no, I have a skull. And the student says, well, then we can't prove that your brain exists. And <laughs> that is the story. And that young man was Albert Einstein. <laughs> and so somebody, and that's obviously false. That's not what Albert Einstein believed. There's, like, Snopes disproved it. It's just obviously wrong. <laughs> yeah, so somebody cited that. They they brought it up seriously. They weren't joking. They brought it up in this Socratic seminar. <sighs> that was pretty funny. You know, I've accepted that the hair is just not going to be up to par right now. Well, it is 
10.33 p.m. And I am playing at the MOK Parade tomorrow. And I don't want to spend all night editing, so I'm going to cut it off right here. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, everything is ruined. How do you turn, how do you, how, I, I, I don't.